brought to you by Fax Body Spray for Guys and by Formula Fragrance for Women. My name is Shady Hine. Okay. Um, what's your major? I'm um, neuroscience and political science, pre med. So, what are your larger aspirations? Well, I mean, to graduate from Pitt and then get into medical school. And uh, so, I want to be a surgeon. Like, neurosurgery is what I'm looking at right now. Or even pediatric surgery. That's, those are my two goals. And then maybe later on, um, get into politics later on in life, maybe. We'll see. Say your name. Um, my name is Neeti Garwa. What's your major? Um, I'm a bio major, pre med. So, <laughs> what are you planning on doing in the future? Um, well, I want to go to med school, travel, and then eventually open like maybe my own fashion line or something like that. Do you want to combine medicine with fashion? Mm hmm. That's interesting. I'm not pre-med. <laughs> <laughs> Just stating Are you that. Are sure you're not pre-med? Like economics? Or... Promise. <laughs> okay. My name is Bailey Miller. My major is athletic training. Um, I've been interested in it <coughs> since like the beginning of high school because I got I used to work with our teams and stuff as a trainer and um, I just am so fascinated by the human body and sports especially so it's a great way to combine the two for me. Stephanie. Stephanie. And what year are you, Stephanie? Sophomore. You're a sophomore. What's your major? Okay. Emergency medicine. So why do you think that it's a requirement for someone in emergency medicine, or how does it apply? Um, well, I, I wasn't sure exactly when we started this course, but now that you know we're getting into it, I see where it could help out a lot with um, finding out the mechanism of injury and like sometimes when people you know um, have traumatic incidents, you don't always see you know like um, the injuries on the outside. My name is Alok Baranspan. So, you're a finance major. Yeah. Is physics a requirement for that? No. So, uh, what made you decide to take physics one with Dr. Levy? Because uh, physics is a really practical thing, and I was like thinking, I, I want to be an investment banker, and to like invest in the technology or factory or something. Like, I, I want to know. How the how the science of it, how it works, like before I decide to put money in it. So like, and also like, I'll, I I want to like talk with the engineers and about whatever I'm gonna invest in. So I thought it would be nice to have a little science background because science is useful everywhere. Yes. No. Yeah, we have. No. Fine. I was just want to get Blackmailed. I'd like to state that I was blackmailed into this position. <laughs> Please state your name for the camera. Melissa Masnovi. Where are you from? Pittsburgh. <laughs> what part? This part. <laughs> <laughs> What's your major, Melissa? Neuroscience. What's your dorm? I don't... Oh. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's personal information. I don't want published. <laughs> What are your future goals? Well, right now I'm sort of in between med school and grad school. I'm, you know, thinking about, I was thinking about med school for a while, but I don't know if I'm really cut out for the whole, you know, like taking life in my hands. So we'll see. So you're not responsible? <laughs> Well, I like to think I'm responsible since, you know, I'm guiding the future of so many students. <laughs> Bring them. <laughs> What's your major? Uh, my major is neuroscience. I hope to be a doctor, yes. <laughs> Not quite there yet, but <laughs> we shall see. I, like you, uh, you guys, am a student. I also do research and I do this, so it's a lot, it's a lot to manage my time. Today we're going to be using a frictionless <coughs> air track and we're going to be incorporating Newton's laws with that and solving some problems. And we have these two different masses connected by a massless string and when you turn the air track on, something's going to happen. 
but we're going to get predictions about what you guys think. I think for this experiment, mass 1 has to be larger than mass 2 in order to get acceleration and have it pull down through the pulley system. Um, it's just the same string, and it's frictionless, and like tension's the same, so acceleration is going to be the same no matter what the mass difference is, because mass does not matter. Okay, because uh, this is frictionless, so static and uh, kinetic uh, friction are zero, but gravity is uh, 10, so it'll accelerate. It doesn't necessarily have to be larger, but at least equal to to pull on the M2. Since this is a frictionless track, even the smallest amount of mass is going to make M2 move. Okay, is that everyone? Alright. Let's, let's get in there and set it up. <laughs>